So we are going to fill this in. We solve multi-step equations if needed by first combining like terms. What needs to be combined on the left side here in problem number one? 12x and 10x. So we're going to rewrite this as 22x plus 14 equals 80. Now we still have some like terms to combine here. They just happen to be on the opposite sides of the equal sign. What needs to be combined next? 14 and 80. So we're going to subtract 14 from both sides. That leaves us with 22x is equal to 66. Oh, I flipped the wrong one. Making sure my math. Yep. 66. What are we going to divide by? 22. And 66 divided by 22 gives us 3. Now, in this case, we don't have room to check here, but if you were doing this on a test especially, I would expect you to be checking it, okay? Let's look at number two. What needs to be combined first? And what does that become? 4C minus 8 equals negative 6. What is my next terms to combine? Negative 8 and negative 6, but they're on opposite sides of the equal sign, so the negative 8 has to be inverse or reciprocal, or inverse, not reciprocal, we're not doing a fraction. Negative 8 and positive 8 is 0. That gives us 4C equals 2. We're going to divide by 4. What are we left with? 1 half. Okay, I'm going to skip down to the second part of this. You guys are going to be responsible for three and four on your own. Take a look at these four problems and tell me what you think we'll fill in the blank with here. Mm -hmm. First, we solve these multi-step equations by involving the distributive property first. In problem number one, what number are we distributing? Two. 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 Again, you don't have to always draw these, but as we're working with them in the beginning, I'd like to see people doing that. 5m isn't being distributed, it's just being dropped down. 2 times m becomes 2m plus 2 is equal to 23. And then we combine like terms. 5m and 2m becomes 7m plus 2 equals 23. Our next like terms are on opposite sides of the equal sign, so we're going to do minus 2 to move it to the other side. 7m is equal to 21. And we divide by 7. I'm running out of room. Which gives us m is equal to 3. three. Let's do one more, and then I'm going to give you until the end of class to finish up any of the problems in here you haven't gotten finished. We will do the last two uh, tabs on Monday. So we are first distributing this to 14 plus 8G minus 6 equals 40. What are my like terms on the left side of the equation? 14 and negative 6. What is 14 minus 6? 14 minus 6 is not 2. 8g minus 8 equals 40. What am I going to do next? Plus 8. And I get 8g is equal to 48. 
where we're dividing by eight now. It's funny, I don't like g as a variable, but I like y, and they're really very similar. I don't know why, it's just, yeah. I don't know why. g is equal to six. Okay, so with that, you have the rest of our time together, which is not too long, to finish up any problems in here on these three tabs you have not yet finished.